Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got a fabulous frog project in Tinkercad. So let's get cracking. Friends, this is one of my all-time favorite kinds of projects. This was created by an awesome 8th grader, Janitza, and she has chosen to share the file with you on Thingiverse. And real quickly, I'm going to create a tutorial so you can make your own variations if you want to. Friends, this little frog ring was based off one of my lessons. You start by simply bringing out the tube. When you bring out the tube, the number that I'm going to tell you to type is size 12. This fits a lot of people's fingers. After you work with this a little bit, you can adjust it. I also like the wall thickness to be two. I like the sides to be 64 so it's round. I think it looks cooler if you do a bevel of two and bevel segments of 10. When you press enter, you have almost instantly got the ring shape. That's how slick it is. Now Janitza added the awesome frog eyes. Friends, the next part of this fun little creation is to bring out a sphere. Hold down shift on your keyboard and squeeze it down. And the number we're going to use is seven. All right, friends, let's create the next little bump of the eyeball. Do control D and raise it up like five clicks with the control up command. We're going to hold down shift and shrink it a little. And then I want you to type the number four because we were holding shift. It changes every measurement at once. I'm going to make it a different color just so we can see it. And then I'm going to do control down to sink it in one click. Now, friends, I want to put filament in the little froggy eyeballs. My filament is 1.75 millimeters thick. So I'm going to cut some holes into this eyeball so we can stick in the filament. I'm going to cut those holes in with a whole cylinder. When we bring this out, I'm going to once again hold down shift and shrink it a little. And then I want to type the number 2.2 and press enter. I found this works best on my 3D printers. Alrighty friends, so we need this to poke out. So let's click on this and let's change it to 7 millimeters and press enter. I'm going to do control up to raise it up 1 millimeter. And then I'm going to grab those three items. Notice it says three. Click a line. Make the blue one the master and choose middle and choose middle. This should poke out naturally. If yours does not, you can hide this quickly and you could raise it up one millimeter. Mine worked, so I can simply grab the three of them and I can group them. Now let's look at this from the top. If you want it to look cooler, you can do multicolor. It will only print one color, but it's kind of nice to see the others. I'm going to move it close to where I want it, which would be right about there. I'm going to do control D and move its partner over there. And then when you get these exactly the way you want, what I recommend is clicking the two eyes and grouping them. And then you can grab all your parts and click a line, make the ring the master, and you can center them like that. Alrighty, friends, so our frog ring is aligned. Now we just need to make them the right thickness. 10 is kind of thick, so changing it to size 8 makes it perfect. So this is the frog ring. I'm going to group this, and we've just made an exact copy. But what if you wanted it to be adjustable so it could fit other people's fingers? I have got a pretty slick way to make that happen. Move over to basic shapes and switch to featured shapes. Bring out the extrusion, set it right beside your project. And then over here, we're going to make this look like an hourglass. So if you bring this one straight in and you bring this one straight in so they're close together. And I'm trying to keep these lined up as good as I can. And I'm going to stretch the top out on both sides a little, keeping it straight and the bottom out on both sides, keeping it straight. You can shrink and adjust these till you get the curve you want. I think I like that curve right there, so I'm gonna match it on both sides. And friends, watch this. Change it into a hole. I want to flip it, so I'm looking at it from a corner. This way, 90 degrees. Remember, if you stay close to the shape, see how close my mouse is to the middle? It snaps and it's super easy to get it to that spot. And then I can bring this into the middle of my ring. I'm gonna select those two pieces and choose a line. Once again, the ring is the master and I wanna make it middle and I wanna make it centered here. I don't care about this side. So my friends, are you ready? When we group these two pieces, boom, we've got a nifty curved spot 
so that your ring can open up to fit other people's fingers. Instead of making a ring for every person, we have just done like you'd find at a carnival where the ring has got a little bit of a gap so it can stretch a little bit for people with larger fingers. Of course, you could also take this project now, do control D, and you could simply make sure they're ungrouped. So are my eyeballs grouped? Yes, they are, so I'm gonna ungroup. And I'm gonna ungroup again, because I don't wanna change the eyeball size. But if I take these two pieces and I hold down shift, I could make my ring a little bit smaller. I would still change the thickness to eight, because that does work for most fingers. And then I simply align everything again and you would have a custom smaller ring for people that have smaller hands too. Your eyeballs would still fit the filament, all of that would be good, and that's how easy it is to make your own cool, awesome frog rings. You could also, instead of eyeballs, make the ears of other animals. You can do all kinds of things to turn this ring into whatever you want. Friends, if you're in my classroom, don't forget, you need to click export, and we export these as STLs. When you click the save, it needs to pop up the save location and you need to find the STL folder and then you need to make sure you put your initials after it and you can put the color that you want. If I've got the color available, I will print it in that color. If I don't, well, I'll print with whatever I have. But friends, that's how easy it is to make your own awesome frog ring. Once again, friends, I do want to send a huge shout out to Janisa. Oh my gosh, love your creativity, and it's so fun when you design something. We can also print. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.